Okay, today we're going to put back the exhaust system. We've uh, taken it apart, and uh, now it's time to put it back together. I've repainted the whole unit, or the whole exhaust system, and now we're going to put the new donuts back on. I've got uh, three total donuts, brass donuts, two large and a small. Some new spring bolts got a new gasket won't be using it today to put we're not hooking it back up to the engine yet but got a new exhaust gasket gasket I've uh, rebuilt my silencer so it's ready to go restuffed it packed it so let's go ahead and see if we can put some of this back together here first part is the lower connection that connects to the silencer itself. And you've got uh, two different size bolts. You have the smaller ones and then you have the larger bolts and the smaller ones go on to this part. And so we'll go ahead and connect this. We'll put the first one in, and after the first one, I'll put the donut in here. Now, I won't tighten these down all the way today. Okay, so the donut. Should stay in there now with all three bolts holding it. And what I want to do is equally tighten it around to make sure that this donut is centered and even around the whole unit and flush. So I'll just tighten each one of these up just a little bit, get them going. And when I put it back onto the the engine, I'll make sure that they're tightened securely all the way around. At this point, I want to make sure that it's flexible enough so I can mount it back to the engine without having to fight it. And you can watch the spring and you'll see that the spring is starting to tighten up. And you want to have those pretty much even all the way around. At least that's my plan. And I also look at the end of the bolt to see how far out it's come out through the nut to determine how far I've gone in. And that helps me judge how much more I need to tighten it. I can tell that I'm starting to get pretty snug on it. And they're all starting to even up. And you can still see the brass donut still in there. And I don't want to try to make it even all the way around so that it's centered and it fits in there good and centered. Okay, each one of them are starting to even up. About the same amount of threads coming out on each one. And it's starting to sit on here pretty nice and snug. And I'm going to leave that one just like that. And then the silencer will fit on it 
it'll go in here and, and uh, tighten down on it. I'll put that on when the trike is all back assembled. Now for the next connection, I'm going to go ahead and connect the exhaust. This connects to the head of the engine. It has two bolts that will go through here. And the washer or the gasket, the exhaust gasket will fit here. And that will go on uh, last. We won't do anything with that today. But today we'll go ahead and connect this part to this part. And we'll put all put a new brass donut on it. And we use the longer bolts for this connection. So we'll go ahead and get our first one in. And you can see we got these nipples that go out here, and that's where the spring will go. And we'll go ahead and connect one washer up here, or one nut to this, spin it around. There'll be three of them that go on here. Just want to make sure that I can put the brass gasket in here. Or the brass donut. Tighten that up just a little bit. And see if I can get the donut in here. And there goes the donut. Put a little pressure on it to put the nut on it. Had to loosen up one nut there to get this one back on. Let's work back on this one again. See if we can get some pressure on it. Pretty tight fit. You got to kind of work with it here. It's a little bit of adjusting the rings to make sure that it's all lined up. Got it in there. And we'll tighten this that up just a little bit just to get it going okay hold that off of that and the spring tension will bring it on out there and so we've got that donut we'll want to tighten those all up and make it fit just snug in here for now because when I get ready to put this back onto the the engine I want to be able to move this exhaust connection be able to move it around so I can easily get the bolts in otherwise I'll be fighting the bolts so right now we'll just snug these nuts up just so that I feel confident they're not going to fall off the tip of the bolt and I see them all coming through and you can see this is fit pretty snug and looks pretty good. And this whole ring will rotate and I may rotate it a little bit more to get it so that the, everything's accessible. And so we've got that one. So we got one more donut, three more bolts, and then we'll have it back together. And then when the engine comes back from the rebuild shop, we'll be able to Put it back. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get this one in. This has four bolts in it. And we'll go ahead and see if we can get one started and then we'll put the donut in and then see if we can get the other ones going. Let's spin this whole thing around and see if we can get the, the donut in here and get it going. Okay. Now we'll get one here on the opposite side. See if we can get some tension on it. Okay, tighten up on a couple of these just to make sure the thread is, the nuts going on it and holding it for me so it doesn't come off. And we've got one more. And as usual, it'll probably be the hard one to get in. We'll see if we can get it in here so 
this is how it looks. And then the silencer will, will be over here. And then it'll all go back on. All I need to do now is just to tighten these up, and I'll do that when I get it mounted onto my engine and make sure that it's all even and everything's where it's supposed to be. And that is it. Hopefully I'll have my engine back in uh, about a week and we'll start rebuilding everything and putting it all back together. Any questions or comments? Always glad to hear them. The new donuts are in there nice and even.